This wasn't fact-checking. The government wanted a major rewrite. That's why it wasn't published before the election, because John Swinney didn't like its contents. Communications to the OECD from the government are owned by the government. So the Education Secretary is perfectly entitled to publish without anyone else's permission. Question. So she cannot hide behind the OECD. Will she just get on and publish it? Cabinet Secretary. I'm afraid, not, rather than discrediting the government with that question, presiding officer, actually what Mr Rennie does is discredit the OECD because, as I've said in my answers, they are an inter internationally renowned organisation. Their work in an educational setting is seen to be expert and trusted. Absolutely, the OECD were fully entitled to present their report to government, to have it fact-checked. But this idea that somehow the Scottish Government can manipulate an internationally renowned organisation like the OECD to change its recommendations, I'm afraid, is, is actually fantasy from Mr Rennie. And I think it does an absolute discredit to the OECD and the very commendable work that they have done.